Good evening everybody, my name's Dougie. Tonight we're going to take a look at the 10 Motives disposable e-cigarette that I purchased from Tesco um, for £6. Okay, so let's go and have a closer look at the packaging and um, the product. Okay, so here we have the product that I purchased from Tesco over the counter. It's called 10 Motives and it is a cigar-like and it's a disposable. So basically once the battery runs out or the e-liquid runs out, that's it. You have to dispose of it. Okay, on the front it says 100% legal to smoke anywhere. Um, you know, take that as you will. It's obviously down to the premises at this current moment in time. If they don't want you to, you know, use these on the premises, you're not going to be able to. Contains no tar or cancerous toxins, no passive smoking, no ash or odors. And also in the banner here, it just says satisfies nicotine cravings. At the top, up here, equivalent approximately to 30 regular cigarettes which we will soon find out and also it says down here rechargeable um, versions are also available and it's got you need to be 18 here as well now on the back has all the usual you know warning signs um, you know that it's you know poisonous product and also here it has the nicotine um, amount that's in there which is 16 milligram and here it gives you the 10 reasons why um, to use this product you know again it says 100% legal to smoke anywhere no tobacco no cancerous um, toxins no passive smoking um, non-flammable no no ash or nasty odours, satisfies nicotine craving, looks and feels like smoking, cheaper than ordinary cigarettes, yeah, we'll see, and a practical alternative to smoking. Okay, so, let's uh, take it out and just have a little bit of a look before we start using this. This should be fun trying to get in here. Should be a strip that comes out. Never come out as planned, do they? There we go. I'm be able to get this out. Oh, there we go. Here it comes. So there we go. It's got the uh, maker's website URL on there and the little 10 motives on there and a little rubber bung to, you know, show that it's not been messed with. Now, this is a, you know, this is the equivalent of a king size cigarette in, in size. Um, and it feels in diameter, you know, it's fairly, fairly hefty cigarette so take off this bung I mean it feels okay yeah a little to some of the others I've seen I mean if you look here it's you can see where it's got the uh, sticker vinyl on it looks a little bit um, tacky I suppose is the word compared to others that are on the market. Okay, so that's what you get from Tesco. And like I say, that's £6 for a disposable. So let's go back um, and give it a go. Okay, so that was a closer look at the 10 Motives um, disposable e-cigarette that's available um, over the counter. Um, at Tesco's in the UK. Now what I'm going to be doing with this um, is I'm going to see how many drawers 
I get out of this. So every time I take a draw, I've got an app on the iPad that I will be, I don't know if you'll be able to pick that up, that I will be clicking um, to keep a, a count of how many draws um, I take on this before it dies. Also, you know, I'll be commenting on how I feel about the product and also um, the, you know, the taste, the vapour and the throat tip that I get off it. So, what I'll do, I will take a quick um, draw, tap the counter and then go away and give it a go and come back and give you an update. Okay, so that's draw number one. I'll tap that and you'll see number one. Okay, so I will come back and give you an update as I go along. Okay, so I've been using the disposable e cig from 10 Motives now for about half an hour and I'm on count 25. Um, so I thought it would you know, be also a a good time just to give a little bit of my first impressions um, of this product. Vapor wise, not a bad amount of vapor. Um, the last time I used a cig cigarette -like was in 2009, and that was only for a brief one month spell. Um, and there is obviously you know been improvements on these products since you know so good amount of vapor to be honest now throat hit there you know there there isn't really a throat tip on this granted I usually use eighteen milligram strength um juice, but this isn't far off, and I'm getting no it from this at all. Um, flavour. A very slight caramel smoky taste. Um, and I seem to be tasting what could be described as a plasticky taste. Which could be coming from obviously the material of the of the um, cartridge. Well, it's not a cartridge, you know, it's another one, but you know the casing of the E6. So first impressions, you know, um, good vapor, um, no throat hit, um, and a flavor of a very mild flavor of caramel and a smoky taste with a little bit of plastic thrown in. Okay, just another quick update. Um, I'm only forty one. Um, drags in to this and I've just had liquid come out of the end into my mouth um, which wasn't pleasant um, I've wiped it off let's give it another go 42 and see if it continues Nothing on that one. 43. Nothing again, but I thought it was worth me uh, pointing out that on the 41st drag of that, I got e liquid in my mouth. I can tell you I'll continue using it and I'll come back and give further updates. Okay, draw 62. Um, and again, I've got liquid in my mouth again. I don't know if you'll be able to pick this up. I wonder if you'll be able to see it on the camera. Um, liquid on the outer edge. Not nice um, getting liquid in the mouth. A um, little bit surprised that I've had this twice. I thought it may have been a one-off the first time. Okay, quick update. Flavour, um, 
still the same as before. A little, you know, I'm getting um, a caramelly taste, um, very light, smoky taste. You know, hit and miss on that, um, and still having a bit of a. It feels like a tastes like a plasticky taste. Um, throat hit still non-existent for me at the moment. Um, but the, the product, apart from um, getting the juice um, twice now, um, you know, the, the, the automatic switch and everything is, is working fine and dandy. Okay, so I'll continue and I'll come back with an update a little bit later on. Okay, again, another quick update. I'm currently on 96. Um, noticed a little bit of a flavour dip around 86 or so. Um, still, you know, it's, it's performing fairly well. Still getting a nice amount of vapour. No throat hit though, um, still. And, you know, apart from the flavour dip a little bit and the couple of... Um, bits of juice that I've had um, in my mouth. So far, the performance of this has um, surprised me. I was expecting, you know, from, from what I've seen on another review, um, for this to be an awful product. But so far, um, it's doing rather well, um, I feel. Okay, so I'll come back a little bit later on with a, with another update. Okay, just uh, another quick update. I'm on draw 118 at the moment on the 10 motives or mo motives. 10 motives. Um, and still performing really well. Um, no more issues with um, any juice in the mouth at the moment. Let's give it another go. That's 119. Um, so, flavour, you know, it's not full of flavour, this. You know, I'm getting, like I say, a caramelly mainly. There's been a little bit of dip in the flavour um, from when I first obviously started using this. But the performance overall has been surprising. Um, so, fairly happy with it at the moment um, see how we go as I continue using it I'll give you another update very soon okay so this is going to be the final update 212 and the battery has died kaput um, so, 212 draws. Um, average draw on a normal analogue cigarette. You know, people say in between 9 and 12. So I've rounded, you know, a nice round figure, 10. You know, as an average. So if 10 draws on a normal cigarette um, is, is roughly about right, that would say this has given me, you know, roughly 21 you know, the equivalent of 21 analog cigarettes, which isn't what they claim. Um, you know, they claim 30 on this. It's not far off, but it's quite a gap. And, you know, depending on how long your draws are on this, you know, if they're less than mine, which are roughly around four seconds, you may get slightly more. But that's the figures I've, I've, I've got from this. Okay, so to basically summarise um, my experiences with, with this disposable. Um, vapour, it gave me good amounts of vapour um, throughout the test. You know, I, I noticed it dimming away at the end and then the battery went. Um, but overall, you know, it was, it was satisfying the amount of, of vapour I was getting. Um, throat hit. The, you know, every now and again I get a little bit of something but it was virtually non-existent for me um, with with this one and flavour I could 
get a taste really. I was picking out my personal taste buds would, would you know they were picking out like a caramel, a very very small hint of caramel, um, and a, a little bit of a smoky taste. And you know, I started off with getting a plasticky taste, but that the more I used it, it, it got less and less and less. Um, not a horrible flavour, and not the best, but something I could use. And it didn't get sickly. Like I said, it wasn't horrible. It was a, you know, it was pleasant. And the more I used this, the more I was enjoying it. It was, it was a pleasant vape. Um, would I recommend them to somebody who wanted a look-alike to try, you know, a disposable look-alike to try? You know what? I feel I would. Um, I've enjoyed using this, and if I was ever caught in a pinch without my favourite device, and there was a Tesco close by, I'd buy one. It would get me by. It got me by all through last night, you know, and part of today. For, you know, six pound. It's it's not far off the pack, the price of a pack of cigarettes. Um, but it's a disposable, you know. And if you go to the actual website, the Ten Motives website, they have starter kits. You know, that start from like fourteen pound, and then they have extra cartridges. I think you get five for. Um, six pound and the cartridges they state will be in between 10 to 15 they're obviously smaller than the the disposables so the price overall if you was to get a starter kit is not that bad I've seen a lot worse um, kits out there um, for price you know of what you get so overall I found this to be a you know a good product to to maybe point somebody in the direction that wants to try a cigar like but doesn't want to shell out on a kit. And there you go, that that that's it for me. Um again, overall I found it, you know, enjoyable to use, satisfying, you know, it got rid of the nicotine cravings and it just worked. Apart from the couple of um leaks of juice I had um, but that was just a couple of times and then I had no issue. So there, there you go, that, that's what I think of this one. Not bad, not bad at all. Thanks very much for watching. Mm -hmm.